put flower designs on everything, and I think it's because they, they want p fat people to blend out in nature so they don't, we don't ruin the view. I did get a very bad sunburn, but I'm being super brave about it. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed, I'm very brave. Um, but I'm very happy to be here. It's nice, there's air conditioning. It's, it's really nice to, to spend a night without the kids, eh? I mean, I imagine, I don't have any, ew. Um, but I'm sure it really is fun. I, I've decided I don't want any children. I, I don't plan on, I don't like meeting new people. So I don't wanna do that. Absolutely not. Getting to know somebody is my worst nightmare. Um, I do have a, a, re a reason uh, I don't like to socialize. Uh, I have just been diagnosed with autism this year. Uh, yeah, yes, I, yeah, you can clap. No, it's great. It's great. It's great because now when I don't want to talk to somebody, I can just give them a note for my doctor. Um, I love it. I love it. Uh, I've, I've always been this way. I didn't, I obviously, yes, I've always been this way, but I didn't know it. And uh, it does explain a lot. Uh, it explains a lot. I've, I've had the two same friends my whole life. If anyone here is like, no, oh, I'm pretty sure we're friends. It's not you. Um, I only have two of them and I've always had the same ones. I don't like change. I don't. Um, yeah, I've had the two same friends. But they try, they try to get me out of my comfort zone. They always try to make me meet new people. They want to make me have, meet new friends. I'm like, why? Am I not enough for you? Um, and they always say the same thing. They're like, oh no, but Coco, you're going to love them. They're just like you. I don't like myself. <laughs> I'm definitely not gonna like them. <laughs> I don't know if it, it does that for you guys, but like, I feel like anytime you meet somebody who's just like you, you only see your flaws in that person. You're like, they talk really loud. <laughs> I don't enjoy that. I don't enjoy that loudness. It's already very loud inside of my head. <laughs> no. I've been uh, trying though. I do, I do try to get out of my comfort zone. I, I try to, to, to do stuff. I've been trying to learn to love myself. Maybe that's a better phrase. I've been working on, yeah, self-esteem is great. <laughs> if I wish I had it, it looks fun. Uh, it looks really fun. I want some. Uh, yeah, I've been working on that. I, I, I used to have a lot of body issues. I, I, and I thought, uh, I would, I'm gonna diet. And then I, I thought, no, you know what? I'm gonna love myself instead. Seems easier. Uh, it's, it's hard because I did try dieting, but I have a lot of sensory issues with food and it just wasn't working. I, I, I don't try a lot of uh, new foods out. I did, I try, I, some, I did try nuts recently. Um, I had al almonds. Has anybody had those? They're great. They're like uh, little pieces of, of wood you can eat. Yeah, it's like, it's like tree bark but as the tastiest possible version of that. So yeah, I enjoyed it. Um, yeah, I've been working on uh, liking, loving myself. Maybe loving myself is even better than liking myself. Love unconditionally. Mm, yes, no conditions. I've been working on that. Uh, I haven't, um, I am better. I've been, I've been better with the body issues as well. I've, I've been wearing crop tops. Yeah, I did that, it was great. I love it. It's like a t-shirt, but way shorter, so fun. It's like, where's the rest of that t-shirt? Where'd you put it? Where are you hiding my comfort zone? Um, I've been working on it. Uh, I, 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 I've always had issues with confidence. I used to wear um, underwear exactly the same color as my pants. And some people are like, why, Coco? Uh, it's genius, you'll see. Uh, I thought when I was younger that I was going to rip my pants. The reason is because when you see any movie, if there's a fat person in that movie, they are going to rip their pants. So I thought, statistically, <laughs> this is definitely going to happen to me. I need to be prepared. So I would wear underwear exactly the same color of my pants. So that way, if ever I bent over and my pants betrayed me <laughs> or abandoned me, maybe it would be a better word, then there would be a kind of panel <laughs> that would create the illusion <laughs> that nothing had gone wrong. It doesn't work out. People can tell the pants are ripped. <laughs> and it is very hard to find jean colored underwear. <laughs> I'm glad to be over with that. <laughs> I'm really glad that was stressful. 
I'd like to wear nicer clothes too, but it's so hard to find nice clothes when you're a fat person. I feel like they make the clothes really ugly. I don't know if anybody else feels that way. It's, it's terrible. They put f flower patterns on everything. <laughs> they put, yeah, it's, it's, this is just a shirt from the big and tall section. It's not even a dress. I just don't have a, that much a long body. Um, <laughs> I'm telling you. They put, flower, they put flower designs on everything, and I think it's because they, they want p fat people to blend out in nature so they don't, <laughs> we don't ruin the view. <laughs> oh, no, I don't want to see that. Put some flowers on it. Sometimes I, I'm reading at the park. I'm just laying on the ground, reading, like, you know, the little legs going, hee, hee, hee. Yeah, I do that. I'm sweet. Um, <laughs> And then people are just like, oh my gosh, look, there's a beautiful little mountain of daisies over there. Let's go take pictures. I'm like, leave me be. And then I roll away. I roll away. If it's not flower designs, I feel like it's like a silly slogan. I saw a shirt the other day with the word courage on it. I find, no, that's, boo. <laughs> you can say, what does that mean? I find that so insulting. Courage what? Courage what? You don't, I don't know. It feels very weird. They put all these slogans. If it's not a slogan, like, live for wine. <laughs> it never means anything. It's like a city name. Los Angeles. Woo-hoo. Woo. <laughs> I don't want any words on the clothes. Thank you. I wanted to buy, I wanted to buy, uh, you know that shirt? From, it's from the 90s. It was popular in the 90s. It has a butterfly on it. Have you guys seen that? It's like a little white crop top. It has a little butterfly on it. I wanted to buy that, but I could never find it when I was younger in my size. And so I was like, they're definitely going to do this in 2022. It's my year. I'm going to go to the store. It's, the, the shirts are back. I'm looking through the rack, and then I see them, and I'm like, yes, 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 yes. There it is. And then when I get to the plus sizes, it's not the same. They change the butterfly. It's not a little tiny butterfly. It's a big butterfly. It is, yeah, I know. And I know exactly what they thought in that meeting when they designed that butterfly shirt. I, I feel it, I feel in my bones. They were in the meeting, they're like, okay, we're bringing back the butterfly <laughs> shirts. Everybody's like, woo, this is gonna be a big year. We're doing it. They're like, okay. So as you know, we have a little tiny shirt for little skinny people. It has a little tiny butterfly on it. And everybody's like, yes, that is the one. Like, yes, tiny people, tiny butterfly. And what butterfly is on there? A monarch butterfly. That is the best butterfly there is. That is some high class butterfly. It's called a monarch. Not for nothing, it is the Bridgerton of butterflies. It is a famous butterfly. And they, they're not just famous, they have tons of friends. They hang out as a group. They go where it's warm in the winter. They are hot girl butterflies. And then they're like, okay, perfect. And as you know, we're gonna make a plus size version of the shirt. It was like, well, I'm done. Fine. There's gonna be more tissue. I don't wanna. Well, no. we're putting it, we're doing it. I'm gonna make a plus size shirt with the butterfly. But I have a genius idea. As all of you know, big girls are big. So we're gonna put a big butterfly. And everybody's like, oh, okay, okay, a monarch? No. <laughs> Monarchs aren't that big. We're not putting a monarch on there. Does anybody know of a large butterfly? Everybody's like, no. Doesn't exist. They're like, guess we're gonna have to draw one. <laughs> and then they drew a round winged big purple butterfly and put it on the plus size version of the shirt. And then I went into the store and I was like, yuck, I don't like that. And I feel like somebody in the meeting was also like, you know what, this is genius. Big girls, big butterflies. Little girls, little butterflies, this is perfect. Because if ever there was a big girl beside a little girl, people would be like, wait, is she fat? or is she just really close right now? <laughs> hey, that's all my time for tonight. Thanks, everybody. Ha ha ha, loved.